Hello friends and welcome to this crochet visual where I'm going to point out things that I have been making since you have not seen me making tutorials lately. A lot of these videos um, you want to be original so lately I got caught up in TikTok and Instagram where I found new crochet designers and I will point out who they are and where you can find them at on um, Etsy is where I bought all these patterns. Some of these through here are from the same designer so you can find them on their same page. So let's get up close and see who we have to share today. So as we go across the top, you'll see here is a kangaroo. The kangaroo is from Jen's Crafty Creations. I really like that. She also has uh, these eye drops where you can get the eyes and the nose for both the mama and the baby kangaroo. This is something that I played around making a bee just on the circular knitting machine. The other one here is from Jojo Juju on how to make a knitting machine baby. It's called a comfort doll. I think they're really fun. I made a lot of them down here in various colors. Okay. And as we go back up here, we have the elephant from Katie Dids. I have an octopus. I don't want everybody to fall. I have an octopus here from uh, All in Jade. She's from Canada. Here I have a frog. Now a lot of times the choice of yarn makes a big deal. This frog I thought was super fun to make. Very easy, no sewing. Um, I added a crown on the top from Mama in Stitches. And you can see in the back, this is the snake in the pot tutorial that I created. I have two of them. <laughs> Okay, and then my little Triceratops, you can see he's not that big, he stands probably about 8 or 9 inches tall. The frill I got from Nicole Chase, the Triceratops I got from um, Teresa's Crochet Shop. Now the reason why I use Nicole's was because hers is a double layer and it was thicker. When I made it with the blanket yarn it was too floppy from the original pattern so I needed to change it a little. Okay let's slide this one over here we have the snail that is from Drew Bee's Zoo. I, ha I thought that was really fun to make. It showed me how to work with two different colors here we have our little fox. This was from Nerdy Knits. And then we have our little peeps. I can't remember who that was from, but I'll see if I can find it and link it in the description below. We have Chloe, the unicorn. This one is from Katie Dids. Here's another Jen, uh, her little 
dinosaur dragon. I added the little dinosaur look on the back, but this little dinosaur also has wings, cute little tail, and then I added the uh, chain look around the belly, and I changed the colors before I did the cluster. All right, and then I have my little monster here. I based it off of a the pattern, and I'll link that in there under the monster, because I was using Chunky, and when they made theirs, they used a 2.25 millimeter hook, and I used a 6 millimeter, so I shortened the rows and basically did the same thing that the pattern called for. Next is from Katie Dids. One of the girls suggested on making a mini me. So I made a mini me. Looks like my little dinosaur might fall over here. So you'll see that I have, I used Katie's pattern and I just added my glasses and made the hair longer in the back. The last one I have here is uh, from Mama in Stitches, her little mini bun bun. So fun to make and so cute too. This is a basic craft pattern from a crafty concept on the knitting machine. I made this one in a 4th of July theme, so I added the nose a little differently and had a little bow on top. The arms are crocheted as well as the ears. Her video is on YouTube. And then you'll see the bag. It was pretty popular for me, this little mini bag. Another one I have down here is Carl the Crab. This is from uh, Jen's Crafty Creations. And then I have my snail. It's uh, called Lacey, the Banana Split Snail. This is made by Not Bad. All, like I said before, all these patterns you can find on Etsy. And we have my last one is the seagull with the life ring. Now, because when I made him, um, he came out kind of heavy. So I was going to get some wire for his feet. And it's hard to find stiff wire. So that's his feet and everything is ready to be attached. But in the meanwhile, I think he looks cute just like that. So I hope you enjoyed some of the stuff that I've been making. And if you get interested and want to check out TikTok Crochet Community or Instagram's Crochet Community, I think you will be pleasantly pleased and surprised. All of these are beginner level crochet. They may look like, oh my gosh, this is hard. I can't do that. No, it's not hard. Don't think anything is hard. Okay. So, thank you for visiting with me today. And I will be back with another crocheted tutorial. Till next time. Bye-bye.